Show around the world, mighty Dev. Oh, well, Devin's supposed to be here, but he's sick. Actually, that's not bad. 62nd episode, and he's sick. I was gonna do a bloopers roll, but I'm like, you know what? I'll just do a real quick show by myself. We won't have the banter. I can just like go over to the chair every once in a while. I mean, he really doesn't give a lot of insight anyway, so I mean, what are we really gonna miss this week, right? So anyways, let's jump right... What, do you want to say something? Yeah, that's what I thought. Shut your mouth. See, it's normal. It's just like he was normally there anyway. So, oh, and I'm still champion, by the way. Just in case you're one, 11, 11 in, in to 6, you know. I got 11 wins, he's got 6. So, you know, you know how we do it. You know how we do it. One more for the clinch of the season. Anyways, uh, let's get into it. This past weekend, we had Bellator 137 in Temecula, which I was there awesome time um it's a long drive it's about seven hours um to get from my house down to temecula so it's it's a decent sized drive but uh you know it's worth it i got to meet adam hunter from mma roasted cool cat hung out with him for a little bit i got to meet uh skip from unique kennels one of the sponsors of our show uh i got to meet him for the first time in person that was awesome um Got to meet some cool people on Media Row, like always. Uh, it was a good time. Uh, fights were awesome. Uh, got to do two interviews with fighters, uh, Fernando Gonzalez and also Darion Caldwell. Uh, awesome time, awesome time. So uh, definitely well worth making the trip. Even though I drove by myself, it was definitely worth it in my mind. So great time. Um, Saturday morning, per se, I guess it was morning for us. Uh, live in the Philippines at night. It was UFC Manila, um, headlining by Frankie Edgar and Uriah Faber. Um, kind of went like I expected it to. Uh, kind of like the Pacquiao Mayweather fight, you know. It was not, not as bad, obviously, but it was, you know, you're not going to outpoint Frankie Edgar, and I didn't really see Faber getting caught. I thought maybe Faber could have caught him in a submission, but... I mean, Frankie's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, so the chance of that probably pretty slim. But it pretty much ended up like I expected it to. Um, goes a decision. Frankie wins. Move on. Um, the other fight, though, that I was impressed with was uh, Mark Munoz went out on his shield. And uh, that was awesome. I know last week I said that he was up against the wall and needed a win or might get cut. I didn't realize that he had already announced that he was going to retire. Uh, you know, win or lose for this fight. So it's awesome to see him go out on a high note, you know, where his, uh, you know, kind of his, his homeland in the Philippines, being Filipino. Uh, although I'm pretty sure he was born in the United States, but regardless, his heritage. Um, awesome, awesome fight. Uh, Luke Barnett, uh, Barnett, Barnett. Um, that dude can take a punch, man. Mark hit him quite a few times and, and it was, uh, it was pretty legit. So anyways, uh, the UFC card, uh, pretty entertaining. Uh, I think it was definitely a solid card worth watching. Um, the big news today, or, or over the last couple days, uh, Jessica Aguilar gets released from the World Series of Fighting, so she becomes a free agent. Um, if it hasn't happened by the time you watch this, I would definitely expect the UFC to pick her up. Um, and and she's, a, she's a top competitor in her weight class, so... I think anybody over there in the UFC, if she's coming over, you know, maybe be a little afraid. She's a legitimate fighter. So we'll see what happens there. Um, this weekend, we have a UFC 187, um, probably one of the biggest cards, if not the biggest card so far this year. Even with John Jones off of it, we've got Anthony Rumble Johnson against Daniel Cormier for the vacant light heavyweight title. That's going to be a banger. And honestly, I don't even know who to pick. That's such a close spot. I can see it going either way. And then we've got Chris Ryman against Vitor Belfort. 
Um, Chris is coming off a couple injuries. Vitor is coming off the sauce. So there's some question marks around that too, but I would definitely lean more towards Wyman on that. Um, Khabib was supposed to originally fight Cerrone for that. Khabib gets hurt again. Uh, Cerrone's still fighting. John Mades McDessie steps up. That should still be a very good fight. I'll have to go with Cowboy on that. There's a ton of fights on this card, though. I mean, don't... I mean, it's not just the main event and the co-main event. There's, there's a ton of fights on this card, and obviously with... Well, you know who not being here. I'm not going to get all into it. I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. Uh, but I do want to thank all of our fans for tuning in every week, the people that do, the people that support us. We really appreciate it. If Debo was here, he would probably say the same thing. Not nah, he wouldn't because he's a hater or I'm the hater. I don't know who the hater is. Maybe we're both haters and lovers. I don't know. Anyways, uh, thank you to all of our sponsors, Unique Kennels, Four Rings Race Group, Living Fat, Pro-Am Belts, uh, Obama's Boy Apparel, and uh, Design Effects that does our website. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, Debo will be better by next week and we can get a full episode in. Um, thanks a lot. Have a great night. And then I'll just go like this. Devin Debo Taylor should be sitting over here. Mighty. Thank you for watching this horrible episode. But in any case, episode 62, we're finishing up season three. And four more episodes. Hopefully, Debo will be back. Have a great night. I'm still leaning like this, but I'm talking to him. Yo, Devin. Devin. You should have showed up, you jackass. Yeah. All right. I'll see you next week, hopefully. All right. See you later.